Hello, Nick McFerrin here. Welcome to this tips and tricks video for ISM Surf keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are organized loosely into three categories, uh, menu-based ones, selection, and view-based keyboard shortcuts. They can really speed up the workflow when you're working in ISM Surf. Menu-based keyboard shortcuts, I'm talking about these ones here, Control N, Control O, and Control S for save. These are the ones that are baked into ISM Surf. Uh, you can't actually change these ones. Um, other popular ones are Control A for display and Control D for diagnostics and things like that. Also, we have the uh, default keyboard shortcuts here. So for the function keys, so typically uh, F1 for shading, um, off and on, and so on. These are the default ones. I usually change these. Uh, I like to change um, F11 and F12 to reference manager variant uh, plus and minus. Let me show you how you do that. If you just press on this uh, on the key that you want to change, so F11, I want to change this to variant plus, and I want to change F12 to variant minus. Okay, so when I'm in Reference Manager, this will allow me to toggle through the uh, the different variants. Now, also notice over on the left, we can define um, other ones. So we got here, if we press Alt, you can see we have a, a whole new selection for the function keys. Uh, and you can also mix and match these, by the way. But uh, I typically only use one. So what we can do is for Alt F1, I want to define something. But what do you do if the thing that you want to assign to Alt F1 is not here. Well, this then allows you to make use of the OS command. What this basically means is we can grab anything off the menu, uh, for example, modify patch matching V1, and look, uh, isomsurf pops it in here for us. So Alt F1 will call match V1. Let me show you how it works. Alt F1 matching V1. Very simple to do. And related to the keyboard shortcuts, we have the new uh, Quick Function Access menu, which uh, has come into ISMSurf 2020. Um, you can see these uh, options popping up on the screen. I'm holding the space bar and going through the different mouse buttons. OK, so if you go to the Quick Function Access menu, here you can see you can, where you can define what the options are going to be, how many you want, and what's on them. Okay, so these are the default settings. They've been carefully defined. Um, I think they're very good, but again, if you want to change them, you can just click on them, and it works in exactly the same way as the keyboard shortcuts. The other things you can do here, by the way, are change the minimum mouse movement. That's how far you have to move the mouse to select. Also, how quickly it appears. Let me show you that minimum mouse movement thing. So if I hold the space key and left mouse button, you can see how the selection is changing to blue. So I'm only moving the mouse a short distance. So you can fine tune the way that operates according to your needs and your experience. Let's take a look at some geometry selection functions. I'm going to switch off. Uh, my nice environment here just to keep a clear screen. So I'm going to make a, a patch and I'm going to use some keyboard shortcuts to do it. So you see here the little letter that's on the right hand side of the list. So for P for patch, T for face. These are actually based on the original German word because Isomsurf was uh, developed in Germany. Um, so I'm just going to make a patch. I'm going to use the W shortcut, which is plane point. So I just do two W points, and it's on my current plane. There we go. And there's my patch. OK. Now, one of my favorite ones for changing the order of patches is when you're in the modify, uh, you can just use the numbers. So I can go for a 4x4 four four or a 3x3, three three, like so. Uh, it's really quick and easy to do. I'm just going to put a bit of shape in here, switch off my shadows. There we go. OK, so other shortcuts that we've got. You'll see we've got uh, cut, copy, and paste. So these are standard Windows shortcuts. So, but I can go Control-C and pick the geometry. And then I can go Control-V. And we now have two patches here. Let me show you that. So there they are. And I can just pick one of them. And let's just slide that over there like so. OK. So copy, paste. 
Um, what I want to do now is uh, let's just make some curves. So I'm going to create a curve. I'm going to use my W to go on the plane, and then I'm going to use a P to go on the patch. So then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to go from C to be the end point back to a W like this. So I've made this sort of uh, V arrangement. So I want to show you here about snap. When you're in modify control point location, so for this curve, for example, um, I can pick, I'll switch off my shading, put on my control points. There we go. So I can I can now snap to those shortcuts. So I'm holding the G key. So G was the uh, edge location, if you remember. I can also go to O. O is the patch control point. And I can go to C and it's going to snap to there. So snap is a very useful way for locating where you want to position anything, really. Um, so we, let's create a face here. So I'm going to, I'm just using the A to, to pick my curves with the A is the shortcut for curve segment. And now I'm going to pick the P for the patch. So making use of those shortcuts really speeds up your workflow and making use of the snap functions too. Um, really uh, efficient way of modeling. Now, unified modeling also offers us some keyboard shortcuts that you don't get access to in standard mode. Let me show you what I mean. So if I just um, pick this patch as uh, my geometry, and let's get into modification. So what I'm talking about here is uh, these uh, directional controls. So you see we have vector, tangent, and normal. So uh, I can just pick them from the menu, but look at this, I can just hit the V key, and that specifies a vector, the T for tangent, or the N for normal. So I don't actually need to move my mouse over to this menu. It might be way over here, for example. I can actually work on this patch and just use N for normal or T for tangent. Now notice T is a little different. I get this uh, preview bar on the screen to let me know. I'm holding down T, you see. If I let go of T, it goes down the tan line as, uh, as you would expect in standard mode. But if I press the T, it puts a tangent plane uh, based on the normal of the surface that I'm, the point is above. These shortcuts also work for some other commands here. So we looked at normal. You got E for extrapolate. So I can extrapolate my patch. I can do both at the same time if I want, uh, U and V. Also O for offset. And also interestingly, we have the uh, P for trace alignment. Let me just remind you how that works. So if I uh, put it on trace mode, so say I want to straighten up this control point row right here. If I just click on it, it puts a trace plane based on the, the view plane and where I pick. So I, I can just uh, straighten up all my control point rows. Oops, as I want to, there we go, on a trace plane. Now the final uh, shortcuts I want to show you are uh, the view based ones. So I'm gonna go back to the Takumi DB car I'm going to put my environment back on because it looks so good with some shadows. Okay, so here we are. We can spin the model as you normally do um, with the shift key, but uh, sometimes you want to move to specific views, don't you? So uh, I'm going to move that uh, to the middle of the screen. There we go. Now, if I hold down the control and the alt key, I can now use my arrow keys to flip 90 degrees through my views. So it's a really nice way to to do that. Another little known uh, keyboard shortcut is the little magnifying glass window. If I hold the control and the shift key at the same time, notice I get this little, this little extra zoom window that pops up. And now I can use the arrow keys to zoom in, that's up and down. And I can also make my window bigger and smaller. So this is great for letting me zoom in on those little details without changing the main view. And this brings us to the final keyboard shortcut I wanted to remind you of or share with you. 
it's the scroll lock button. So if I push the function key and scroll lock on my keyboard, you'll see it hides all the menus. This is full screen mode. So this allows us to uh, look at our model without any of the menus getting in the way for a clear and uncluttered view. So I hope you have enjoyed this Surf tips and tricks video on keyboard shortcuts. Keep an eye out for more videos coming soon to LinkedIn. And also please come on over to our Katia creative design and styling experience community. It's free to join. You just need your DS passport, just register. And you can meet all the experts in the Katia design IPS team. You can ask questions, you can start a discussion. Um, you can even share your projects uh, and uh, introduce yourself to the wider Katia community. There are all sorts of really interesting things in here um, for you to get involved with. So thank you very much for your attention and see you next time. Goodbye.